<laughs> hey guys, I know it's been a long time since we've done a video. We've all been extremely busy this summer. We left off with the spit note. <laughs> So that is the beginning of what I want to talk to you guys about today, and it's the quick spit or the spit cluck. Um, I've heard some people even call it the buzz cluck. I don't know. All I know is that it took me three and a half months. I have officially mastered it, and it's really fun, and it has uh, so many applications for the field. So I'm going to give you a quick step-by-step, -step. and the first step is to do the spit note, where you get your tongue at the roof of your mouth, and you drop it as hard as you can while producing a moan. And that gives you that... And the only difference between a quick spit and a spit note is the fact that you're bringing your tongue right back up. The spit note is just a moan where you're dropping, you're starting with the tongue, cutting off all the air, and it goes, ta, but then the spit cluck, actually, you go, ta, ha, ta, ha. I'm going to show you into the back of the call what it sounds like. So here's the normal spit note. It's not a very good representation as to how much pressure I'm building up behind my tongue. But for the spit cluck in the back of the call, it's going to sound like this. <laughs> so slowing it down, it's the first note, and I'm bringing my tongue down, and then on the way back up, it's <laughs> So with the spit cluck, or the quick spit, it has a weird ring to it where it really sounds good. And that's where you're dropping your tongue from the top of your mouth down to the bottom and you're bringing it back up. You have to time that second breath perfectly. And I mean, you can do it really slow with slow air and you can do it with really fast air. And it just, it's all on the timing on when you push your second note and what you're doing with your tongue. This is not an easy note. To even take that even a step farther, you can do what's called double spit, spit cluck, double quick spit, whatever you want to call it. And that's where you push more than one note. So instead of going ta hut, so then I go in ta hut, you go ta hut. You just, you just like play with your Adam's apple back in the back, like what you do for the triple cluck, going from the double to the triple cluck, you really start to get familiar with how your throat operates and how you can force it to make another note. But the important part, if you're gonna try to do that, is to get that beginning tick, like where you throw your tongue down with all that built up pressure, and it keeps the reed up in that position to where it makes the cluck part of the spit. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and like our pages on Instagram and Facebook.